1 and another cycle is 1 a 2 c 1 and let us apply first law of thermodynamics for these two cycles. cycle 1 a 2 b 1. <coughs> so, for this cycle we will get integration 1 a 2 a d q plus integration 2 b 1 b d q is equal to integration 1 a to 2 a d w plus integration 2 b to 1 b d w. So, let us say this is our equation 1. Cycle 1 a to c 1 that will give us 1 a 2 a d q plus 2 c 1 c d q is equal to 1 a 2 a d w plus 2 c 1 c d w. Let us denote this equation as equation 2. Now, if we subtract any one of the equation from the other, what we will get? Let us say we subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So, we will get to b to 1 b d w minus 2 c to 1 c d w. So, let us say this is our equation number 3. Then we can do little bit simplification like this 2 b to 1 b d w is equal to 2 c to 1 c d q minus 2 c to 1 c d w. What we can see that in these two quantities, the limit of integration they are the same. So, we can take them under one integral sign like this 2 b to 1 b d q minus d w is equal to 2 c to 1 c d q minus d w. So, what is the implication of our final expression? Here we can see the quantity is d q minus d w. We have taken integration from 2 to 1 taking a path b. Here also we can see the quantity is d q minus d w. We have integrated this quantity from point 2 to point 1 or from state 2 to state 1 taking another path that is path c, but these two quantities are identical. That means, they are independent of the path. Though at the beginning I have told that heat transfer or 
the quantity q, work transfer or w, they are path dependent. What we can find that dq minus dw, this quantity is independent of path. But what is this quantity? Q, heat transfer, that is one energy. W, that is work transfer, that is also another form of energy, energy in transit, both are energy in transit. So, definitely they are difference that will be also some kind of energy. So, let us denote it by E, capital E. And if we denote it by capital E, we can write for any process dQ minus dW, that is some kind of energy, that is dE. And now I am using the symbol of exact differential because it is dependent only on endpoints or states. <coughs> so, what we have achieved? We have started from the 